Martin, what are you doing? I'm trying to post a cat video to CatTube, but there is a bug. I filed an issue on GitHub yesterday, but they haven't responded yet. I wonder if there's a way to alert their dev team when new issues are filed. Sounds like a good job for webhooks. Stay tuned if you'd like to know more. Katie is a developer at CatTube. She wants to ensure that if someone files an issue on GitHub, her team is notified and the issue isn't lost in her inbox. And honestly, we try to read all emails, but those are just good intentions. Luckily, GitHub is one of the many services that provides event-driven webhooks. What this means is that if someone files an issue, GitHub will send a request to a URL specified by the developer. Katie can use Cloud Run to host the new webhook target. This means she won't have to worry about servers, and she can use the language and framework she's comfortable with. The first thing Katie has to worry about is authorization. A webhook target is a public URL, and anyone with the URL could send anything to it. To ensure she's only processing valid requests, Katie uses a shared secret. Katie creates a secret key and puts one copy in the GitHub configuration and stores a copy securely with the Cloud Secret Manager. Every request from GitHub is signed, so Katie uses the secret to validate the signature and only processes the valid requests. That's great, but how does this help alert her team? Well, now that she's able to securely receive events from GitHub, Katie will use these events to send messages to Slack. Katie already knows how to use the Slack API, so she writes a function to send a message to her team's Slack channel every time a valid request from GitHub is received. Her team will never miss another issue. Katie also wants the users to know that her team is working on the issue. Using the same webhook, she writes a function to post an autoresponse back to the GitHub issue. Finally, she wants to measure how long it takes her team to close an issue. She adds one more function to her webhook to stream any issue events to BigQuery so she can easily create metrics around her team's issue performance. The full webhook target is now creating notifications, triggering an action, and streaming data into BigQuery. Katie was happy to solve all three of her issues using webhooks on Cloud Run. She gave me a $1 bill. How many GitHub issues would that process for her? Cloud Run pricing is based primarily on the number of requests and gigabyte seconds used. Each bug filed in GitHub will trigger one request, which will take Cloud Run about one second to process. Each request will stream a row of data into BigQuery of about one kilobyte. Katie will get 2 million Cloud Run requests for free, but will be slightly over the free tier on gigabyte usage. Her total Cloud Run bill will be 78 cents. For streaming and storing the rows of 1 kilobyte each to BigQuery, Katie will pay 13 cents. So that $1 bill would let her process 2 million bugs in a month, with a little change to spare. That's a lot of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time to see how Katie can set up a more robust and fault-tolerant webhook using PubSub. Mm -hmm.